Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be playing Dungeon Defenders 2. Now, I did play Dungeon Defender 1. It wasn't all that impressive as it used to be, sadly. It's just seems like it's gone downhill a little bit. Um, for this game, I've only played like three minutes tops, and that was just like tutorial. I never really got like a full first impression on it, so this is pretty much like uh, a retry, I guess. I guess I'm just gonna call it a first impression considering it wasn't much of one the first time. So with that said, I'm just gonna go on in and see what the game has to offer. So it seems like we still have campaign and we can go with the town and private tavern. Let's see what the private tavern looks like. It's a different... I don't know if the town and tavern are like different from each other. I wonder if they still have like the old like tavern that they had in like Dungeon Defender 1. Sadly I didn't show you guys around too much of Dungeon Defender 1 because that route that like one like level took all day and I probably should have but uh, the game is just like so downhill right now. I don't I don't know. I'm kind of depressed about it but hey it is what it is. Let's see if Dungeon Defender 2 can cheer me up a little bit. Alright, we are inside the tavern. So it appears I started with like a monk. Monk isn't like it used to be, but definitely pretty cool. Uh, last I checked, this does look like the, like the main lobby that you guys can join. Who are these guys? Pets. Okay, these guys are just a hatchery. Huh. Yeah. Well, that that says pets. Trust me. I'm a professional. But there seems to be like costumes and everything that are still in the game. Uh, let's see. How much are the costumes? Okay, it seems like the costumes are real currency. This is what they went with. Really? They didn't keep like the old fashioned styles. They just went with actual currency. I hope some of them are still like challenges. Cause that, that it was always fun doing like um, doing these for like special challenges. It doesn't really say much of how to get them. And my character's still tacking in the background. But these are definitely currency. Now that looks pretty dope. I like that. Seems like the squire got himself an upgrade a little bit. He's still in... Oh, wait, where's his boxers? He used to always have like a boxer skin, right? Where he was just sitting in like his boxers. I guess not anymore. Rip. I knew thee well. But let's go with Huntress. Can we change our characters? Yes, we can. The last characters we left off with are just the main ones. Uh, click her. Yeah, her. Uh, okay, or not. Hold on. There we go. Now, create character. The Dryad is the physical manifestation of the will of Terraria itself. With the wisdom of untold ages, she takes up arms to protect and defend her home wow. against evil and corruption. Seems like we got... Tree. Plenty of time for all her primal defenses. That's like an hour from now. But seems like they got some really new characters that are different from um, the original. The Huntress is an But let's see the newer characters. Okay, he's basically the looks like the summoner. This lord rises from the depths of the underworld, vowing to destroy all who invade Etheria. He summons the skeletal remains of the old one's army and the ethereal. Yeah, he's basically the summer. Series EV2 is a self aware robot tasked. She's actually inside the first one as well, but it seems like they locked her as well. The gun witch. Never seen a gun witch before, so she's definitely new to this game. Of her magical gun broom, made from witchcraft. Well, she actually does look pretty dope, but. It seems like you can get her with actual in-game currency, and well, I don't know about. I don't know how to get these. I think they're probably like daily missions, maybe. 
So, yeah, there's... I gotta figure that out. But there's also, like, actual... Like, buying currency. I'm good. The Lava Mancer, lava Mancer is definitely new to me. The Mystic possesses the Mystic's great definitely new to me. And she is the definitely new to me. Is the physical manifestation but of the I'm gonna go with the Huntress power. and continue to play with her. No, we don't need all the other characters to enjoy the game. But I just kind of wanted to see the skins and everything. What the hell does shift do? Okay, whatever. Uh, seems like there's like a relic shop to where you can like buy items. Alright. You have no voice acting. That sucks. But yeah, you can buy like different type of gears as well. Uh, do they have like an auction or something? Blacksmith. Hey, Blacksmith, what you got? You got a hat for me? Well, too bad that doesn't show up on my character. Only my weapons do. I got like a rose weapon. Like quiver. Lodge rose arrows. Yeah, the game is definitely different from uh, from this first one. So it seems like I got some dragon eggs and stuff I can get. Uh, let's figure out how we're going to get this like currency to unlock characters first. Maybe somebody down in the comments will tell me. But there are different skills that you can use. Since you're inside of here, you don't really have to worry about it all that much. Because you get uh, free mana. So she get a Phoenix attack. Interesting. Uh, what is this number five? Number five is just pretty much mine. Alright, our mine doesn't do that much damage apparently. Alright, that's like water. Uh, what is this? Alright, so it's still like the normal placement system. Our gears aren't that all that like fast yet. Or like good. What is this? Ah, okay. That's that's pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. I'm definitely going to use that trap as much as I can. But looks like they named some characters after like different people maybe. All right. So, what else can we do? Let's just go and do a mission like we did another one. Uh, and yeah, let's leave session and go online. Go into... Well, let's continue campaign. Yes, I get it. Server maintenance. That face, though. Click. So this seems like it's outside of the town. So basically, I have to defend that thing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back. Like I said, I'm going to try and get like an online room instead. And see how we do. Maybe they can carry us. I'm not trying to like do like campaign right now. I'm just trying to see if there's some players like actually playing. All right, here's some people. Everybody got well. Most people got costumes. There is collision, so you can collide with other players, which I never got. Alright, here's the war table to where we can actually get inside the uh, matches. Uh, th wow. This has actually changed dramatically from what I remember. But yeah, it seems like some people are doing some real good damage right there. Uh, let's see. You got a tavern up here or inn? I got a lot of crap, but it's still basically your private tavern. What is this? Inspect. Normalize difficulty. Does not reward loot or experience. Now nah, I'm good. 
If I'm not getting loot, I don't want to hear it. Let's go to the war table. So we can choose normal, any difficulty, and hard. So this is where we're going to go. We're going to create this room and see if people join. You do not have any bags marked as auto collect. Are you sure you want to ex What is that? Oh well. Anywho, let's let's just go in. Let's see how we do and see if people join. If nobody joins, we'll be fine. We will just be okie dokie. Dandy. Dandy line. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up all the chests. Do I have to attack him now or? Hmm. Okay, what is J? Seems okay. Yeah, they're, they're from daily missions, or from missions themselves to get new characters. How do I start this place? Okay, G to end the warm up. Okay, building phase. Keys to unlock. Uh, let's put this right in front of this, just to protect it, and we're gonna put this right, uh, oh, we can actually put it up here. Uh, can you, like, come this way? It actually gives you the route of where they'll walk as well. right here because I think that bounces like them up. At least I think so. And we're gonna put uh, this right about like here maybe? No, I want to keep like plenty of turrets that will protect the place. We're also going to put one right here. And we're also going to put one of these, like, spout things right about here. Not sure if they, like, get uh, visibility or anything, but we're going to test it and see. Right, we're going to put this right about which way are you attacking? To here. And then we're just going to start it. Sadly, nobody has joined us. So it seems like we have separate mana from our, like, actual mana we use. Well, crystals we use. Oh no. Heart is under attack. What? Yeah, let's not have that, buddy. Yeah, let's get rid of all these guys. Seems like they got through our defenses pretty quickly. Darn. Man, I am so bad at this. Oh no, sewers are under attack. How dare they? What, what the hell, man? What the hell? You're supposed to be guarding this place. Alright, new build phase. Like, what the hell? You're supposed to be guarding all of this, man. Oh, no. No. Face, face that way. 
Alright, let's open it. So it seems like I can only get one chest per, like... I guess I'll pick that up since I can't equip it. Seems like you only get one chest per player. Which is actually pretty good to keep everyone from, like, taking and hogging all the crystals. Yeah, I missed this one. Alright, I can't equip that. I can't equip that either. Uh, let's put... Oh, we can put it right here. Can we put it like on top of here too? This is the type of freedom I like. Freedom to build anywhere and anything you want. Well, somewhat, somewhat anything or anywhere. All right, let's try and face this way, buddy. There you go. Uh, keep right there, and you face, like, this way a, a little bit. Uh, next I want to do is put these right here. And I want to put one more up here. Hold on. Yeah, let's see how that that one does. I'm really hoping to get a better bow. Because it seems like this one doesn't really kill all that fast. Hey, you leave my sewers alone. Just put that right there while I'm at it. Oh no. This is totally working out a lot less better in my head than I thought it was gonna. Could be because I got crappy gear, but you know. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna blame it on, my crappy gear. Stop it. Don't need all that. Seems the best one are the uh, last ones uh, that I have. Now all I can do is upgrade. Oh, shift to... Oh, okay. That, that makes sense. Duh. Bulletin board. Okay, so this pretty much shows us. So holding shift pretty much just shows us um, everywhere that they can come from. So what I'm gonna do is upgrade all of these. So everything upgrades instantly as well. I have to be level nine for that one. So I guess you gotta be certain levels just to increase certain things. Ah, uh, let me grab that. I have no more, like, stuff right now. So I gotta start it again. This is our last one. And that guy, right around, like, this corner here. Yeah, we gotta kill him. No confidence here.
Come on, we gotta kill him. He is our main priority. He is dead. Now we gotta protect the crystals the rest of the way. Our mana comes back like really slowly. Let's go get the sewers infected. I could actually put on that, surprisingly. It took them long enough to give me actual gear I can put on. I could put on that and what about this? Oh, I was about to put on some more gear. I'm pretty sure you can still change your characters in like the mid game. I just wanted to level up uh, Archer a little bit more. Alright, let's go open this chest. We tried our hardest. Give us something like extremely good. Ah, oh, a bunch of go to totem that we cannot use. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is, but you know, thank you. Uh, we can put that on. But well, we can grab that. Uh, let's compare. Nah, we we could just sell that. Definitely a lot better. Man, this this is kind of the game I remember. Kind of, kind of. I really wish they would uh really kept up to date with Dungeon Defenders 1. Even though they did move on to this game, it still would have been nice to still had like up to date and like still working. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you can change the different characters while you're in here. I have no pets. Rip. But let's go ahead and end the session. And check around a little bit more. That way I showed you guys a little bit of the gameplay it has to offer. I do want to continue looking around like this um, town. And see everything that it has to offer. Because I think we just half looked at it. So, War Table, everybody knows that one now. And the costumes, and the trading dummies. Oh, this one pierces. Wait, no, it did. Yeah, it does pierce. There's the Tavern Keeper. Pin some of your uh, sharings for your trouble. I would be that that guy that would be like fix fix dungeon defender one, but I'm not I'm not gonna do it. If they watch this video, they'll know that they need to. Please, for the love of God. All right, catapult. Can I like catapult myself? Hold on. Okay. Jump, jump on the... Okay, it has like a hovering. Oh, well it launches me either way it goes. Man, I would love to try all of these characters, but I'm not willing to spend the money on it. I like the steampunk outfit. I actually like the monk outfit as well. Uh, there's pets. And wait, what up? There's a mailbox. I don't think I have anything for this mailbox, sadly. Uh, let's look at that inventory. We got a lot of loot. You either have a key or you can use currency. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, we have any like bow and arrows? So I do remember them having like rarities and everything. This is definitely uh, it. There's green, blues, and I believe like upper golds or and stuff like that, like mithril, if that is the correct term that they still use back then. I'm gonna use. Okay, no, I don't want to. I'm gonna use this to just sell all those items, cause we already got some stuff. Uh, how much gold did we get? We got we got a little bit. Let's go visit the. Uh, our little blacksmith over here. 
That chin, though. Available items. Uh, I could get that. I am looking for character damage. Yo, wizard, Harry. Let's stay focused on rangers, please. Fire damage. Well, there could be some that resist that. I don't know. So this one's a scatter shot, and this one that I'm using is a burst. This one is a pierce. Uh, curve damage is okay on that one. This one actually launches six of these like uh, projectiles, or ten, maybe. I I think it's ten. Hold on, because this bow launches four. Ah. I don't know. I guess I'll just take uh, a thorn. Yeah, that one's not that bad. Not half bad. Okay, let's go check this pirate ship, see what's up here. At least I think it's a pirate ship. Does it have a pirate flag? No, it does not, sadly. Or is that the pirate flag? Yep, it is a pirate ship. I knew it. This part just threw me off. Grandmaster. <laughs> I, see, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Darn it. Why are we making character puns? What? Oh, well then. Alright, I'm pretty sure we checked everything over here, though. So, yeah, that's just pretty much all the game has right now. But yeah, guys, you guys seen a little bit of, like, the campaign and everything. I'm pretty sure you can partner, partner up and, like, pair up with your teammates or friends. Uh, you could probably like right click them or something or click their name and just add them Maybe or they'll probably be on your friend list. You could like invite them to the session But yeah, you just got to do quests just to unlock different characters Well, get the currency to unlock different characters apparently Which I have no problem with but I don't know how long that would actually like take I'm Pretty sure somebody in the chat will probably give me an estimate of how long it actually like takes from what I see is probably like a hundred quests if it's giving like a um, hundred of these tops or probably like wait what was the what was the number hold on ten not like a hundred quests it's probably like 50 maybe 50 quests maybe zipping from ground to sky maybe I'm not good at math right now but I hope you guys did enjoy but Dungeon Defenders 2 actually pretty good I, I'll give them that it's all right but I'm pretty sure there are some people that angry, disagree with like the whole currency system and everything and all the changes from like Dungeon Defender 1 if they were like fans of it but I give them this it's Still pretty interesting and a lot different from Dungeon Defender 1, which is probably the main one I enjoyed, but this one has quite the charm as well. Just watching people fly across the like map. But I will keep saying it. Please fix Dungeon Defender 1. But if anything, I would like to fight for my um, costumes and you know do the whole like achievement things like there were some costumes in like Dungeon Defender 1 that you had to like do certain challenges for, which I would love to like go back and do that. I don't know if the game has it from like first impression wise, but it'd be cool if it still did. 
and there's some other things that I would like to like to see in the game but I'm not gonna go into all that I'm just gonna pretty much leave you guys with the first impression and I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys next time peace out